What's going on, everybody? We're back here with another diecast video. And on today's diecast video, we're actually going to be doing the green light collectibles. I actually finally got all these cars in the mail, so we're going to actually get them all opened up. So, the other ones that we're missing was Alex Bowman. So, we're going to go ahead and do Alex Bowman. Like I said, these are from Green Light Collectibles. And this is Alex Bowman's first win on June 30th, 2019. Tribute. Car looks good. Actually, from the packaging, the packaging looks freaking amazing. I love it. Like I said, it's from Green Light Collectibles. And it's Hobby 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 exclusive. It's a 1969 Chevy Camaro limited edition diecast metal chassis. Contains one diecast video and adult collectible 164. Man, that car looks phenomenal from the packaging. The graphics on it looks really good on the front. Now, I've said this in so far, what was it? Chase Elliott and William Byron. I wish they would have done something like right here instead of the used, uh, race used bumper sweepstakes. I wish they would have took that out and actually put something on the back of four Alex Bowman's win or all the wins. That would be pretty cool. That's the only thing I wish they would have done. But the back looks pretty much semi-decent. It looks okay. But the front, oh man, look at them colors pop on that front. That looks so good. Car looks good from actually the top of the box, side of the box, underneath, front. Looks all good. So let's Al actually open it up and let's take a closer look at this bad boy. Alrighty, we got that actually opened up. I haven't took it out of the plastic part yet. But the way I hate, I wish they would do these a little bit better because you got to cut them like literally like right up the side so you don't mess the packaging or anything so you can actually put the car back in. That's one thing I don't like about these, especially, I mean, yeah, NASCAR Authentics and stuff like that, you literally have to tear it up just to get into it. But these I kind of want to keep because it's like uh, the box and the way they look. So what I like to do is just cut up the one side and you're able to actually just pull it back just like so it's easy to do and then you just take it straight out and do it like that now I actually forgot to say this at the start you can actually buy these off of lionelracing.com and hendrickmotorsports.com and there was another one I think circle B still has them on their website so if you want you can actually pick it up now Hendrick has it for two cents cheaper it's seven ninety seven seven nine no 797 795 somewhere around there and then everybody else has it for 799 so i mean you can still pick them up any of these i believe are still available i'm not 100 percent sure but i think they are so you, it's just a sticker that goes around it says 1969 chevy camaro so now here's actually what the car looks like man these rubber tires i wish nascar winter circle cars and arc cars for 164 well actually Get that that's pretty cool and yes you got that metal chassis that's so freaking nice but it says green light collectibles 2018 made in china <laughs> but this is actually 2024 but you got the good year on the front which looks really hold on might be just yeah it's not faded or anything that looks good the tires are like a rubber plastic pretty nice you can see the thread on it on the tires which is pretty cool all four tires do roll you got the 88 on the side, you got the Exalta there. You got Lumar, and you can see like literally there is no paint chips in that. You can see the details in it. Even the tires, you move the tires, roll cage you don't move. You got Vaveline, you got Alex Bowman. It's the name. What is that? I usually say, yeah, Alex Bowman. You got on the back, Exalta coating system, Vaveline 88 course you have nothing on the back window actually you do i just noticed that you got Bowman. it's kind of hard to see because of the light you have nothing on the trunk bed you have the 88 on top with the exalta but no roof flaps or anything looks good actually because it's not a race car it's actually a 1969 chevy camaro now on the right side you got the Vaveline exalta 88 you can see the steering wheel you can see the seat there's no gear shifter and there's nothing really else is in there. You can see a little bit of the gauges on the front, on the dash. But you got Bowman with Chevy. That looks good. Exalta on the front. That front end looks good. You got the 88. You got Hendrick. You can see the lines coming down the side with that 
dark blue, light blue, and red. Looks phenomenal. And you got the Goodyear there on the front. I mean, the hood does open, but they are a pain in the butt to actually open. Alrighty, we actually got that open. It took me like three, four minutes to actually do so. But I can't get really the greatest light. light. You can see a little bit of the engine in there. It's like that orange. But that's probably going to be the best I can get. The hood does not open up any farther. So that's what the hood trunk doesn't open doors don't open but the hood does which is pretty cool i like that once 164 is with the hood opening that's pretty cool i like it so it's easy to close it's just so freaking hard to actually open i'm scared i'm gonna scratch the paint and stuff but speaking of the paint man look how nice those flakes in the paint are that is phenomenal i love these cars like I have nothing bad to say about green light collectibles paint schemes of these NASCAR 40th anniversary cars because that's technically what all these are. First wins, I mean, we got 40th anniversary for Hendrick this year. So that's why these are coming out like this. But man, car looks phenomenal. But I am going to say something about this in this video. Probably nobody else will. Probably Alex Bowman will never hear me say this, but he got screwed. Out of the round of eight, he literally got screwed. Just my opinion, he should have just, Hendrick should have fought that. That's just my opinion. So, he got screwed out of this championship. Hopefully, he gets a better team than this Hendrick crap. Because we all know Kyle Larson will win the championship. But that's going to do it for this diecast review. Love the paint scheme. Nothing bad to say about it. Car looks good. Paint scheme looks good. There's no scratches in the paint, which is nice. No bubbling in the paint. It all overall looks phenomenal. If you want to see more of these diecast reviews, because I have the rest of the cars. My dog keeps barking just to end the video. But we have the other cars that they actually made. We're going to be having those. So if you want to see any more of these Hendrick cars, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new one. Hope everybody's enjoying their day.